So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason you're searching up an app inside of the Apple App Store, but for some reason that application is just not showing up. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The number one thing I recommend doing is making sure that when you're searching for the application, you want to make sure that that application is you know actually you know spelled right when you're searching it. That can be one of the main issues that you can run in here. So just go through and just double check that you're typing in that information right, typing in that you know name right. And that could be one of the first things I'd recommend doing to fix this problem. Now, if you do that and that doesn't seem to be working, another thing you may want to try doing is making sure and you know verifying that that application is available in your area. If that application is not available in the area that you're in, you'll basically be able to see that and recognize that because that particular application will basically say that it's not available in your area. So if I was searching for something like you know Facebook, for example, and if Facebook was not available in my country, it would basically come up here and it would show me no options. However, if you make your way over into your you know, web browser, and if you type in Facebook or whatever name that is and then iPhone, and if you see that application coming up here, that might mean it's not available in your country and you may want to research if that you know, application is available in your country. Now, finally, if none of those things are showing up, that might mean you have some sort of block available inside of your particular iPhone. So that might mean that you have some sort of like, you know, maybe you have a screen time, you know, lock or a parental lock, something like that. And you can check this by going inside of your iPhone settings right here. And you want to scroll down to screen time. And within screen time, if there's some sort of like a lock that you have or content and privacy restriction, if this is on, you may want to go and turn this off. Sometimes, as you can see, it says even the first option, iTunes and App Store purchases and allow apps and features and whatever. You want to go and basically just disable this. And that should allow that application to go and show up at that point. So those are the main ways to go and do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.